Now we are working new details on a story we told you about last night, an honest act by a good Samaritan. A retired state trooper found $4,000 on the street last week and didn't stop until he returned it to its rightful owner. And we're talking to both men tonight, new at 6. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live in the newsroom now with more. The man who lost the cash says he was absolutely frantic searching for it because the money was hard earned and was going to be used to help his family. It wasn't shown. Dan Rasmussen was having a bad day. He was running late, then locked himself out of his van. I jimmied my way in the van and uh, I drove away with the uh, with my hard case on the hood. The case, which was full of cash, flew off, but Dan didn't notice it was missing until he was miles away. I was frantic and lost. I, you know, I was tracing every step. Around the same time, David Decoy spotted the folder right in the middle of Smith Street. To him, it looked similar to the binders his coworkers use at Providence Water. I thought by chance it may have fallen off one of the trucks, so I turned around, retrieved the binder, and looked inside and. Much to my disbelief, there was $4,000 in cash in there. The retired state police major didn't think twice about calling police and returning the cash to the self-employed contractor. He just said, did you find it? And uh, kind of grabbed me in a bear hug and gave me a hug and said, thank you so much. So I could see the relief in his eyes. Turns out Dan was lending the money to his son so he and Dan's one-and-a-half-year-old grandson could have a safe car. So that's what families do. Dan was so thankful for David's honesty, he offered a reward. He said he was blessed enough. He didn't need it. Dan hopes this story serves as a reminder for others to do the right thing, just like David did. In the newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.